हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक सो गाइज टूडे सेशन वी गॉन डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग हाउ यू कैन इनोक योर फ्लो सर्विस ऑन योर सॉफ्टवेयर ए जी क्लाउड टैलेंट सो इन शॉर्ट द कनेक्टिविटी बिटवीन योर ऑन प्रिमाइज टू योर सॉफ्टवेयर ए जी क्लाउड टैलेंट हाउ यू कैन डू दैट सो लेट सपोज ऑन प्रिमाइज आई मेड वन फ्लो सर्विस दिस इज सर्विस टू फ्लो सर्विस आई मेड ऑन ऑन प्रिमाइज now i am looking for i want to invoke this flow service in my software ag cloud tenant so i am like whatever flow service i make i want to invoke this particular service in uh, software ag cloud tenant okay so how you can create on premise connector with the help of i will invoke this particular service in my software ag tenant so let's start the demo so very first you need to log in your admin page okay so this is my admin page basically okay now click on web method web methods cloud option okay here first you need to create your tenant connection okay so how you can create your tenant connection just click on create tenant connection option here you need to uh, like choose the option enable s yes, then alias cloud tenant then your software ag cloud tenant username password web method cloud url how you can copy just log in your web method dot io integration page like software ag cloud page okay after that click on your project and up, then whatever url you can see here those particular url you need you need to copy here okay so it's uh, getting slow so let me show you okay so this is my url basically http and dot io still here you can copy and paste it here okay now these options are uh, like uh, three options are optional you can keep as it is and then click on update settings you click on a create tenant connection so let me show you how you can create that mm, wait for 2 minute maybe the issue in between cloud and uh, this tenant once it get done then i'll show you okay so as i said once you click on a project whatever link you can see those link you need to copy here okay and then click on update setting so once you are done the particular tenant connection then here the option is available test and enable okay so you can see here the message it's uh, got connected successfully then click on account option okay so account let me show you how you can create just click on on premise account here you can give the user defined name as a on prem cloud description you can copy paste it here tenant alias select cloud tenant and stage you can see default here maximum reconnection attempt i am changing as a 10 request time out you can see time to live 60 seconds and this thing is Uh, optional only this thing is uh, like mandatory run as user you can select as administrator and then test account settings click on particular option and then save changes okay Unable to connect on premise account with alias already exist. Okay, so this uh, you can see I like click two times. That's why it's showing the this message. 
so now to unpremise to cloud this particular account got created and uh, once you click on the test it enable also okay now i want to click on upload option so that whatever i selected it will upload on your on premise to cloud so account information for on prem to cloud to uploaded successfully on stage development okay then click on application here we need to create one application so click on this option define two web methods cloud application here you can give the name as a application cloud then copy paste paste it here and guys whatever services you created on your on premises like this one all these details you can see here okay let me show you okay so whatever services are you looking for on prim to cloud you can just select here so as i am selecting this service addition of two number but here concat demo is there might be let me check okay no problem addition demo one numbers all right teacher addition demo one number and one service is available addition demo right let me check again okay. right addition demo no problem we can select okay so here i selected this uh, particular service just click on this checkbox and then go down like if you are looking for another services you can just select and go down click on save changes option okay once you done with that then don't forget to click on upload option okay if you not select this option then it will not not make sense okay so click on upload option here you can select your account so as i created on prem to cloud 2 okay then click on upload so i am done with that like i created a tenant connection accounts then applications okay so let me show you this particular connector like this particular services like is available on like you know uh, the connectivity between your on prem to cloud it will get executed or not so for that purpose you can you are not able to see here what you can do just click on project click on any service then click on connectors click on on premises and here you can see this application cloud i created a one uh, like this is a cloud right application cloud i created an application or there i uploaded my service details that's what it's showing here okay so i just shown to uh, like test it is like working fine or not so for that purpose click on operations input output you can see here output you can see here okay then close run option is available this is play button click on play button here you can give the uh, string 4 and string 24 and uh, select account on prim to cloud 2 and then click on run option okay so you can see here the result uh, in front of you okay now let's suppose if i want to use this particular uh, first go back so now let's suppose i want to uh, like create one on premise flow service and that flow services i am looking for this particular service okay so how you can do that uh, so let me show you how you can do that just click on integration flow service here you can give the uh, like create one flow service here you can give the name like on prem to cloud 
plus haut. Always follow camel kiss. Okay. Yes, oh, it's small. Okay. And then click on save. Then click. Just for error and link, use try option. Try cache block. Here. I'm looking for this connector, on-premise connector. This connector is nothing but your flow service, which you define on your uh, software AG web method on-premise. Okay. So, how you can invoke? Just type the name, application. Application. Okay. So, once you uh, like type application, it will showing here. Okay. Whatever connector you created, this particular connected uh, connector details you can mention so that it will invoke. Now you can select this addition demo and again here you can choose this account as well. Click on this view edit pipeline. Here we not define any kind of input so just click on input. Click on plus icon. Give the name as a number one. Again plus number two and then again click on output fields plus here you can give the name as uh, output and then done number one key string four number two to string five and jazel to output so it will working fine let hope for best so again i'm com completing this code so i require cache block and in cache block i require one bit last error you can see here the view edit pipeline as well it automatically get map now save this particular demo Click on run and then give the input. So result you can see here. Result it not showing. Why? Because let me show you the reason behind that. Result to result. We already mapped. Okay, then save and then check. Okay, see guys, here you can see the result. In previous, earlier it was not showing. Why? Because we did not following the mapping. That's why it's showing here. So that way you can use on-premise services on your cloud tenant. So let's suppose I already have a 300 or 400 line of code on my on premise i just want to use this particular code on my on like on cloud okay so that way you just you need to uh, make connectivity in between on prem to cloud and then you can create your own flow service on cloud and uh, create a connector run the connector and those particular on premise connectors you can use so that no need to uh, like uh, design your particular develop your code that way you can do that like on premise services you can use on your cloud if you want to use this particular service into your uh, like in your workflows also you can do that just so let me show you again click on default workflows click on workflows create new workflow so i just looking for this application like see application cloud this is my connector you can just map it and this signal shows that you need to configure something just, just click on this settings here you can select your 
connect uh, like uh, uh, account name then click on next okay so here you can give the input as a three four then next you can test here so that uh, you will get exact output you can see the exact output it's showing true then click on done so now you can see here that way you can use your uh, on-premises uh, workflows your work on-premises flow services on your own cloud whatever it you know flow services you, you can you know yeah in your uh, workflows you can use this particular services so that's all about guys today's demonstration i hope you enjoy this video so if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe like share and comment your own channel uh, we'll see you yeah we'll come up with a new session very soon till the time stay happy stay connected and thank you so much